Hello, Internet. It's me, Hugh, with another DG Diary for you. It is Friday, which makes it follow-up Friday, which makes me feel a little batty. I'll tell you why. Because Kalina45 has reminded me that back in the summer, well, summer, I say summer, it's Toronto, it's like 40 degrees today. It's like a heat warning in Toronto. So, still summer here. Back in the summer in England, uh, during the World Cup, I was staggering around in the darkness of Warwickshire looking for bats with my bat detector. And I took some footage. I wanted to edit that together. I've finally done that thanks to Kalina45, Rachel Phillips, Bear Damage, and Osmaya, who basically kicked me in the butt and knocked the bats out. So, you I also want to get to this. This shirt here has been given to me by someone at London Film and Comic Con or at the Stargate Chicago Creation event. I don't know, they had a big long, it's the last one name for it, and, and it turns out it wasn't the last one. But anyways, uh, somebody at one of those events, I think it was London Film and Comic Con, but they started to blur together. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the shirt. I'm wearing it today, I love it. Even if it's an extra large, which I don't know why you would choose extra large for me. I don't feel like an extra large, but it strangely it fits quite well. But I think I'm a large, or I think I'm a large. But anyways, um, I'm gonna uh, with with no further ado, I'm gonna say let's look at some bats, and uh, I'll get back to you in a second. Enjoy. Hello, internet. It's me, Hewlett, with another D Geek Diary. I'm actually outside now. I don't know if you can see the game reflected in my glasses because I'm standing outside the window, watching the football game. So. Um, basically, I get the best of both worlds. I'm freezing cold, but I, but I do get to watch the game while I'm while I'm out here looking at bats at the same time. But look at it, it's gorgeous. And the sun going down there. I heard the dusk was the best time to go and see these things. Let's see if we can hear some of these things. I'm going to hold the um, speaker by the uh, by the microphone and see if we can get anything here. I must look like I'm trying to rob the place or something. Maybe the neighbors will be calling them. Any bats? A lot of bugs. I'm assuming that given the amount of bugs that there should be some should be some bat activity. Bactivity. Nothing yet. I might move away from the windows because it's possible that I'm I'm actually scaring them away. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. I'm probably scaring away many of the neighbors too. My mother's just turned off the light. I might try a little later, so I don't freeze to death. I'm outside with my bat detector right now. Oh, was that one? Yeah, I think I just heard one. I've got I've got it set at uh, at 45. Where is it? 45. 45 kilohertz. And if I point this up at the sky now, you can actually hear. Did you hear that? That's actually a bat going by. See there you. There you go, it just went by again. How cool is that? How cool is that? You can hear them through this little device here. will actually let you hear the bats as they go by. As they come by looking for, looking for tasty bugs. And now it's very quiet. I'll watch the game then. Okay. This is it. I'm sure we're going to hear something now. means we, we probably won't. <laughs> oh yeah. It's almost, it's almost like a dolphin. That's them. That's them. How cool is this? It's a bit windy. It might be, I might be it's a bit cold for them. Oh, did you check that out? Did you see that? <laughs> he just came by chattering la la la. Just a little chattering with the bats. Hung out with the bats. There's like one little guy who just keeps coming back and forth. Oh, is he getting a good run of it here? That is definitely a bat talking. But how cool is that? I just think that's the coolest thing. I don't know why. Oh, hear that? That's them. So I've got I've got Jane here now as well. We're listening for bats with the bat detector. No, they're not ghosts. <laughs> 
Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed our little uh, bat hunting adventure. I'm going to get to a couple of comments that came up. First off, Kalina45 was asking what kind of uh, bat detector I was using. Well, there it is. It's the Bat Box 3. I love it. Great little device. Not very fancy. Just does its job very, very well until you drop it and then the speaker pops out and it rattles around and makes more noise than the bats. I'm afraid I did drop it. I feel a little bad because the people I boarded off um, actually are, are, are they're local to the village that, that we um, uh, we have the house in and uh, and I really, really appreciate them lending it to me. So I'm going to get them a new one. I, I just haven't done it because we're, we're not there. Um, so basically, love it. Bat Box 3. Check it out. There are definitely other ones. I actually want to do some bat hunting in Toronto. So if anyone's got any information on that, please let me know. Maybe there are no bats. I don't know. I thought there were, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out. And I'm going to find out because I want to take all of the components and I want to build my own bat box this time. I don't want to borrow one. I don't want to uh, buy one. I want to buy the components and put them together into my own little bat box because I think that will drive my son crazy. And um, I kind of like the concept of it. And perhaps, hey, maybe there's a YouTube video in that. Um, also, Ian Murray says I could have saved a ton of time, wish I'd got this before instead of after that I mentioned it, um, by setting up a big bright light and then the uh, the bats just sort of zip in there and start taking out the insects. So it's a great way to do that. I will try that in Toronto. That should be kind of fun. Might actually be fun to do up on the um, on the roof here and see how that works. Um, Taylor Shanks was saying that the, apparently in England there's this kind of bat issue and that there's not a lot of bats and there should be some kind of a government breeding program. Actually, the people who lent me the bat box, they work for this, or well, their daughter works for like a, a conservation um, uh, group or department, I think, that has some kind of government affiliation. So she goes around, like, basically making sure that bats are okay and badgers and hedgehogs and all that kind of stuff. So she's doing some great work there. Um, and again, thanks so much to her for, for lending me the, um, the uh, Bat Box 3 and allowing me to break it. Um, anyways, uh, Taylor is also saying that perhaps because the government isn't doing as much as, as perhaps it could, um, that a, a, a Kickstarter would be a really good idea for sort of a bat habitat, bat breeding kind of thing. So that's kind of a really good idea. And I wonder if maybe someone's already done it, but um, if not, someone should. That sounds like a great idea. So I'm gonna do more bat hunting in Toronto. That's what I will be concentrating on at some point in my crazy schedule. And until we geek again, cheerio!